All right, this is the VU Calculus program. We're doing topic one. This is video number two, and we're talking about limits graphically. So we're going to do example one in this video, um, or at least the first half of it, uh, and then uh, we'll talk about... So it's in a table on your actual packet, but I kind of had to squeeze it in here, so we'll make it work. So uh, one way to think about this, and you, you certainly don't have to, but one way to think about these left and right limits is to pretend that you have uh, a little like stick figure, a little person or dude or whatever walking on the curve. So when we talk about from the left, so let's start with this uh, x equals negative 4. So, so right here is the point where x equals negative 4, right? That, that's the spot we're talking about, okay? If I want the limit as x approaches negative 4 from the left, what I do is I put a guy just to the left, like right near there, but just to the left, and I have him walk to an x value of negative 4. And the question is, what y value is he walking to? Well, he's, he's walking to that y value of 0, right? That's the, that's the value on the curve. If I did the same thing with a guy on the right of the curve, right, so just immediately to the right of that spot where x is negative 4, and I had him walk towards negative 4, he'd also be walking towards a y value of 0. Because these two numbers are the same, that gives me the value for the double-sided limit, which is also 0. And the f of negative 4, if you were thinking about this in the sense of like the way it would look when you were doing like regular algebra 1, just means what's the y value at negative 4? Well, that is also a 0. The reason that all of these are the same number is because this is a boring old continuous point. So the graph is continuous at this spot. Because notice, if I were to just draw this, I'm just drawing a line right through that, that dot. Now, we make the big obnoxious dot mostly because I had to try and recreate this graph uh, by hand from a much better graph that is in your packet. And But, but the idea is... Uh, again, left side limit is guy just to the left of negative 4 walking towards negative 4 from the left. Right side limit, same thing, guy just on the other side walking to negative 4 from the right. Double sided limit is either the same number as these two, or if these two don't match, we use the letters D and E for does not exist. And then f of negative 4 is just wherever the solid dot is. So that's so so x equals negative 4 is an example of a point that is continuous. We're continuous at that point. All right, so let's move to... Uh, to x equals negative 3. So I'm going to erase my little guys as best as I can. It's going to not be pretty, but I tried. Okay. So now we're looking, this is the spot right here. This is where x is negative 3, that, that vertical line right there, right? So if a guy was approaching from the left of that and walking towards the x value of negative 3, he'd be walking towards a y value of 1, right? If a guy were just right of that spot on the curve and walking towards that spot, he'd also be walking to a y value of 1, right? Because those two numbers are the same number, the double-sided limit is also 1. But, this is where it's tricky, if you look at your graph, there is no closed dot, okay? So f of negative 3, there is no closed dot anywhere. F of negative 3 is what we call undefined. It, it literally does not have a value. So no, it is not continuous. Right? Because again, to be continuous, all of these four things have to be the same value. Right? All right, let's move over to uh, x equals negative 2. So I'm going to erase my little lines there. Okay. So x equals negative 2 is this spot right here. It's like that little peak, right? So guy walking from the left is walking towards a y value of 2. Guy just on the right of the curve walking up that hill would also be walking to a y value of 2. Since those two numbers are the same, my double-sided limit is also that number. It's also 2. And the closed dot, if you look, there is a closed dot right here. The closed dot is also at that value. So all four of those numbers are the same. And so we are continuous at that point, right? All right, let's go ahead and talk about uh, x equals negative 1, which is right here, right? So if I erase all my crazy lines. Okay, so negative 1 is the first one we're going to run into a problem. So here's the, here's the spot where x equals negative 1, and I want you to notice that there are two very different sections of the curve here. Just left of this line, my guy would be walking on this section of the curve, approaching a y value of negative 2. But... On the right of this dotted line, the guy would be up here walking on this thing, approaching a y value of 3. Because negative 2 and 3 are not the same number, the double-sided limit does not exist. The actual y value is wherever the closed dot is. Well, you can see that before I wrote all over it, this was the closed dot down here. So the closed dot is at negative 2. And if I'm asked if this is continuous, the answer is that it is not continuous. Because, as you can see, these four values are not all the same value. 
right? All right, last one we're going to try and squeeze in here is when x is 0. I'm a little bit low on space, uh, but I think we can kind of hop back and forth, right? So uh, x is 0. Again, this is going to be one of those nice, happy, easy points if you look at it, right? So x is 0 is the, is the y-axis, right? So if you look at this, as I approach the y-axis from the left, I'm approaching a y-value of 4. As I approach the y-axis from the right, I am also approaching this same y-value of 4. Because those two numbers are the same, my double-sided limit is also 4. And as you notice, you don't even see the closed dot there because it's not, I didn't make a big obnoxious dot out of it. Like every dot is by default a closed dot. These big open circles are made to be big open circles so that we can see they are not, they are not closed dots. And, and random closed dots like this that are floating in space are usually made pretty big to make it obvious that they're there. But every single one of these dots along here is a closed dot unless I go out of my way to make it uh, open. So that's also a 4, which means that this function is continuous at x equals 0, right? So that's the first half of example one. Uh, I'm going to erase all of this stuff and basically recreate it again with, uh, with five more values. Uh, and we're going to do the other half of this graph. So we'll do the other half in the next video.